First things first, the first lesson that I want to debunk, you know, is this idea that it's not about destination, it's about the journey. Or enjoy the process, uh, the, the end goal does not matter, or does not matter as much. Well, I think that's wrong. It's wrong. Let me explain, please. Well, first of all, there are many prisms and many perspectives through which, many lenses, if you will, through which you can look at this. One is a religious lens. Well, depending on whether you are religious or what's your religion at all, uh, I'm not going to speak for everybody, but I can speak for Christians. And I can say that we definitely know that destination matters. As a matter of fact, there are two destinations. And the way you will live your life here on Earth, the way you will go through that journey will determine your end destination. So it's kind of counterintuitive to say destination doesn't matter, only the journey matters. No, they both matter. As a matter of fact, they interconnected, intertwined. One depends on the other. So that's one prism. Another prism is this idea that, well, we the whole point of New Year's, New Year's resolutions and goals and you name it, right? If we are setting goals, what's the point of like, how can you enjoy the journey or the process if you don't have a goal, if you don't have a mountain to climb, if you don't see the light at the end of the tunnel? So explain to me how exactly you just go through life, you go with the flow and enjoy the journey. What kind of life is this? To me, it's miserable, miserable and crippling and, and weird and, uh, you know, empty. I want to have life goals for this planet, for Earth, for my life here, and also for the fact where I'm going, where I want to um, try to be a great person to deserve the right to end up in the kingdom of God. Now, again, you might not be a religious person, okay? I'm gonna give you this just perspective that if you set in any goal in your life, you have a life path in which you have some respect to any milestones, you by definition will have, you will put a lot of weight into the destination. So, what's the moral of the story? What I'm trying to say? What's my point? What's my challenge? What's my fresh perspective here? Well, it's the fact that both journey and destination matter. There is no such a thing as one matters over the other. They both matter equally. You have to not only enjoy the journey, but you have to, well, make sure your journey is worth telling somebody and it's, and it's the great one and it's a fulfilled one and it's challenging one. Now, others give this advice. The final point I'm going to make about this one life advice I want to debunk, the final point is that some people say that in very narrow context. And so the narrow context is that, for example, a lot of business people and entrepreneurs say that, well, it's not about like creating a great business and having lots of money and creating an impact for you, for employees, for community, for the marketplace. It's all about just the journey of enjoying yourself as an entrepreneur and business person daily. Uh, it's not about enjoying, it's about appreciating the fact that the journey is full of, you know, challenges, tests, surprises, mistakes, agony, pain, suffering, and maybe not so much suffering, but like, like mid to you know, final failures and, and learnings and, and experiences in that sense, yes. But again, you wouldn't enjoy the journey unless you have the goal. You have the goal to build the business, to create a, a product or service that solves other people's problems. So of course, then maybe by extension, you will enjoy the journey or you will appreciate it. So again, if you don't see where you're going, you can't appreciate the walk. That's my say. That's my life advice. If it's a better mindset for you, God bless. I, I did my job. If it's not better, well, I tried. I give you a new perspective. You can just listen to it and you can live your life the way you want. But that's the perspective that works for me.